Number 80. Which of the following atoms and ions is or are isoelectronic with S2 plus? And then we have Si4 plus, Cl3 plus, Ar, As3 plus, Si, and Al3 plus. Okay, so we did a very similar problem in number 79. So if you want more practice, you could go back to that one. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so now let's just continue on. So here, they want to know which ones are isoelectronic. Now, textbook definition is technically if atoms or ions are isoelectronic with one another, they would have the same electron, I'll just put E minus, electron configuration. All right, well, there's got to be an easier way to think of that. And yeah, there is. Isoelectronic also means if they have the same electron configuration, that means that they have the same number of electrons. And it says it in the word. Iso, we've seen before in, I think, chapter one or two, iso, like isotope, iso means the same. And electron, it's right here. So same number of electrons. Simple as that. So now we just got to find out which out of these six has the same number of electrons with the ion that they're asking, which is S2+. Now, just as a refresher, just know that if you have a plus charge, that means you really lost electrons. I'll put E minus. And if you really are negative, you actually gained electrons. So you would add them to how many electrons you have. Um, so let's start with are given, right? We want to know which one is electronic, isoelectronic with S2+. Plus. So I'm just going to put S2 plus up here, and let's figure out how many total electrons are in sulfur 2 plus. Sulfur is over here. Now, how the heck am I going to get the number of electrons? Well, remember, the atomic number, and I'll just put, actually, I'll put atomic number, a number, always represents the number of protons, but also it equals the number of electrons if no charge. So that's where your standard is. You always go for that atomic number and then you manipulate that number depending on if you gained or lost electrons. So for sulfur, your atomic number was 16. It's always going to be the lower of the two numbers that are in a box and it's always going to be the whole number. So for right now, we had 16 electrons because protons equals electrons, but now they're telling us that it was a plus two and plus two means that you actually lost two electrons. So 16 minus two would give me 14 electrons. And that's the number that I want to be isoelectronic with. So if these six equal uh, 14 electrons, then yes, they would be isoelectronic. So let's start with the first one, silicon four plus. So silicon's over here and the atomic number is 14 for silicon. So it would be 14. And now it's telling us that it's a plus four. So that means that you lost four electrons. So you would minus four from here. So 14 minus four is 10 electrons. That is not the same as 14 electrons. That's what we want. So silicon four plus is out. So that's done. Move it on. That means that it's just not isoelectronic. So now let's go to Cl three plus. Chlorine is over here. Atomic number is 17. So we start with 17 plus three means that we lost three electrons, so minus three. 17 minus three is 14 electrons. That's how many electrons are left in the chlorine three plus ion. And yeah, it does match, right? Because we still wanna have 14 electrons. So this would check out. So chlorine three plus would be an isoelectronic ion with S two plus. Now let's keep going. Argon, no charge here. So it's just an atom. So whatever the charge is, that's what it's going to be. Argon is over here and atomic number. If you guys can look on your periodic table, because I kind of circled it out, but it's 18. And since it's a atom and there's no charge up here that it just stays 18 electrons. But unfortunately that does not equal the 
14 that we need, right? 18 does not equal 14, so therefore argon is out. Arsenic, AS3+. Plus. Same thing. So arsenic is over here. We're starting with 33 element, uh, electrons. And it's a plus 3, so that means that you lost 3 electrons, so minus 3. This would get you 30 electrons, but that's nowhere near 14. So, uh-uh, this is not isoelectronic. Next is silicon. This is the atom silicon because there's no charge in the upper right-hand corner. So whatever it is on the periodic table, that's what it's going to be. And we did silicon before. Silicon is 14 atomic number. So that's it, 14 electrons. And that's the same as the 14 electrons that we're looking for. So this would be isoelectronic. So I would circle this one. And then last but not least, we have aluminum. I'll put aluminum over here. Al3+, plus. aluminum is over here on the periodic table. It's a 13 atomic number. So that means that it started with 13 electrons. Plus three tells me that I lost three electrons. So minus three. 13 minus three is 10 electrons. And unfortunately, that does not equal 14 electrons. So aluminum three plus would not be isoelectronic, so we could cancel these out. So the only two that are isoelectronic with sulfur two plus is chlorine three plus, that's the ion, and silicon by itself, that's the atom. And that's it. So Cl three plus and Si. Box that answer off, that's your answer. Those are the two, the one atom and the one ion that are isoelectronic with S two plus, so we could check that off. But guys, it was easy as that. Just find the atomic number and then just do your subtraction or adding based on what the charge is. And this is super important, knowing what plus means, knowing what minus means. A lot of students actually have trouble with that. They always think it's the opposite, which is understandable because that's what it is technically in math, but, or maths, all, all, everybody from the Europe side. Um, so yeah, but just practice and practice and practice and you will get it. So Keep studying hard, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Let me know if it did. If you want to support the channel, click subscribe, and you'll also be getting all of our answers directly into your feed, which will help you on your tests, quizzes. I'll see you guys all in the next question. Have an awesome day.